guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I'll be reacting green to episode 2 of season 2 of The Irregular at Magic High School. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I just tune on my ear. Oh, fuck. Damn. Oh, that's that girl from last week. Possibility that Lena and Gosia have that stuff that they looking for because, um, shit. But I wasn't expecting them to literally, like, not really throw the girl, um, but just push her kids to fill her with it. I mean, damn. Oh, poor chick. But she dead now, so. Oh, shit. Doing what? <laughs> sure, Erica. Right up. Well, whatever it is, I'm guessing Lena possibly has some. Well, we, mm, no, I'm gonna take that back. Wait. Because Lena's a part of the military, and I don't think the military would do something like this. So, this is a completely different organization.
Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank God she's being talked about even though she's gone. Oh, really? Yeah, but see, even though if it's happening somewhere in, like, fucking Dallas, don't you think that'd be real to you? Oh, no, that'll just be weekly news for us. But still, they should have heard about it as well. So the guy from episode one. <laughs> you think you gonna do that willingly? Of course. I mean, but the signs are clearly there. Oh, he about to kill him, don't you? So then that has to be that boy. No, because it couldn't. He got killed last week. Oh, fuck. Are you serious? Okay. Trying to get up a little bit and like unmask the fucker. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Let me get away.
could be anywhere now. But this season is getting dark. It's only episode two. And if someone like that can drain you to insulin, what else can I do? It's had a mask on. I mean, that all makes sense because, you know, since they don't have any bites on anyone. Let's see, trust me. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, me, that's so fucked up to say. Yeah, so when she held her punch, she absorbed it, but you know, they need it for something else. What that is, I have no clue. He should be. I mean, he's in the hospital. 
I don't think anybody will come after him in the hospital, but who fucking knows about that? Of course. Yeah, but you can't go out there alone. At least take back off. I mean, mm. yeah, because he above that shirt. Sure. Oh, think this is gone.
just Lena. And then eventually the rest of the military in last week's episode. Maybe she doesn't even know it. much okay let's just say lena is secretly a part of this occult maybe she possibly doesn't remember doing something i don't know i mean god because i've already met her because of the movie and stuff and i'm learning more about her i don't know i'm like i trust her but then at the same time i don't because she's a very interesting character and i don't think she would do something like this Yes, she possibly has something to do with it. I don't think she would be the one to go around being this vampire and killing people. That has to be someone else. So what I'm kind of suggesting and hoping that happens later on into this, you know, arc. Um, maybe either Lena or Tatsuya or both, like, goes undercover as one of these vampires and, and do some shit like that. I don't know. I mean, since Leon was someone who was there and also got attacked and his energy was drained i really don't know if he's going to be safe at the hospital it's a little bit of a, a little bit of yes and a little bit of no because mm, you don't know if that person's going to come back and be like let me finish the job on this fucker i don't know i'm scared but yeah this is dark i mean how in the world do you go from all of season one plus the movie and then episode one of season two and i mean the start of season two for for last week didn't seem that dark i was like okay a little bit of lightheartedness ish like that but then this episode just felt a little dark i mean hell i mean you end the last episode with a body like over there and i'm like what the fuck is going on and the next thing you know there's more in the fact that these vampires are hunting these magicians like what the fuck the, you know what if it, because it seems like it's gonna get bad or possibly even worse to the point maybe the head of the of Japan, so like almost like the president in a way, um, he might want to do an immediate shutdown because no one's really safe. You can't really go anywhere by yourself, and I feel like there's gonna be a point where someone else in this group is also going to get attacked. So, now looking at everybody, like, I have no clue on that. But um, the biggest thing is I hope and pray, even though it's still possibly going to happen, there's going to be one character, don't know who it is, but there is going to be another character besides Leo, who is going to be walking out by themselves in the middle of the night, doesn't really care what time it is, and saying, like, oh, hey, I'm going to be fine by myself, and they're going to get attacked as well. And then I'm going to be sitting here like, what the fuck did I just say a couple of weeks ago about, you know, buddy system. Have your buddy, but who knows? I mean, the only one who I can really immediately think about getting attacked is possibly Honoka. Because since Shizuku isn't here, she's one of those that I feel like she's going to walk out by herself. So if she's not hanging out with um, Miyuki at times, she's probably going to be one of them. Like, 100% bet, like, she's going to be one. Don't even know yet. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of season two of a regular <clears throat> at Magic High School. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode three. Bye, guys.